Hello friends, welcome to Dipenism. I am Dr. Dipen Shah and today we will be discussing about the digestive system of cockroach that is Periplaneta Americana. Now, when we discuss about digestive system, even just like in humans, the cockroaches have similar type of structures. For example, the digestive system consists of elementary canal and digestive glands. Now, elementary canal, the passage is a coiled passage wherein the length of the elementary canal is around 8 to 10 centimeters. And the elementary canal passage has been divided into three different segments, which is known as the foregut, midgut, and the hindgut. So, these are the three different compartments of the elementary canal. The foregut is also known as tomodium. The midgut is known as mesenteron and hindgut is known as proctodium. In the foregut, the structures of the elementary canal that is present is first the head. The head contains presence of the preoral cavity the preoral cavity is the one which is present in front of the mouth and that preoral cavity is mainly covered anteriorly by labrum, posteriorly by labium, laterally by maxillae, mandible and there is a median hypopharynx which is the tongue. So basically the uh, preoral cavity consists of the mouth parts. With the preoral cavity the head also contains the next structure that is the mouth which leads into the small tube known as the pharynx. So head region mainly contains these three structures of the elementary canal. Next is a short muscular passage of the foregut which is known as esophagus. Just like esophagus is the food pipe in humans. A similar type of tubular passage is present in cockroach as well and through the esophagus it mainly helps in conduction of the food. So conduction of food mainly occurs through the esophagus and the food is transmitted to the next part of the foregut. The next part is a very dilated pear shaped organ which is known as the crop. This crop is highly distensible that is it can expand and the major function of that is it helps in storage of food. So in a way it is acting like a stomach where it is helping in storage of food but it is not a stomach it is the structure is known as the crop. The final component of the foregut is known as gizzard. So this structure is the gizzard. When we observe the gizzard in the transverse section, it mainly consists of certain circular muscles. So this is the TS of gizzard. And in that circular muscles uh, circlet, there are presence of six grooves. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these grooves contains backwardly arranged bristles. And there is presence of chitinous structures which are known as the teeth. So there is presence of teeth like structures in this gizzard and this teeth are chitinous in nature and this six teeth will help in grinding the food and it is helping in crushing and straining of the food. So gizzard mainly contains chitinous teeth which helps in crushing the food. So with this part we complete the foregut or stomodium. Coming to the next part that is the midgut. Midgut consists of a coiled structure and this coiled structure is known as stomach. So in cockroach the stomach is a coiled structure. In humans it was J shape but here it is a coiled tubular structure. This stomach mainly helps in the process of absorption of food and for the process of absorption to be taking place, first digestion has to be done. So digestion is done by this eight tubular structures 
which are known as hepatic cica so hepatic cica is a glandular structure which mainly helps in secretion of enzymes and these enzymes will help in the digestion of food hepatic cica are usually 6 to 8 in number and these are blind tubules blind meaning they have only a single opening and they are present in a world fashion or in a rosette arrangement and secretion of enzyme is their main function so mid gut mainly contains hepatic cica and stomach then comes the final part that is the hind gut the hind gut consists of ileum colon rectum and anus and the hind gut the parts of the hind gut are comparatively wider than the mid gut structure through this the undigested food will be passed and it will be eliminated through the anus which will be present at the 10th terga that is the 10th abdominal segment now at the junction of mid gut and hind gut there is presence of 150 yellowish tubules these tubules we call it as the malphigian tubules and these malphigian tubules has the important role in the process of excretion and excretion in insects mainly occurs in the form of uric acid so this is the excretory structure in the cockroach so this we have discussed about the entire passage of the alimentary canal plus a digestive gland that is discussed is hepatic cica apart from that cockroach also consists of pair of salivary glands so this is one pair of salivary gland having certain components in which there is presence of this bag like structure which is known as the reservoir that helps in storage of saliva and in other components there are two glandular lobes which helps in secretion of saliva so each salivary gland has a reservoir and two glandular lobes which helps in secretion of saliva which is connected to the base of the hypopharynx through a common salivary duct so this was the entire discussion about the digestive system of cockroach thank you